Hello folks, this is the Subway with Only Gizmos and in today's video we are going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Pocket. Now this is another low range smartphone by Samsung which interestingly is a direct competitor to another Samsung's low range device that is the Samsung Galaxy Y. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Pocket's design in detail. So taking a look on the front of the device, you have the call speaker on the top and right below it you have a 2.8 inch capacitive screen. Right below it you have the physical home button along with the capacitive touch buttons. Now taking a look on the left hand side of the device, you have the volume control keys here on the right hand side you have the power button which acts which also acts as the screen lock button there is no dedicated camera shutter key taking a look on the back of the device you have a 2 megapixel camera along with a speaker placed right next to it so there is no flash as well on the top of the device you have a 3.5 mm jack along with a micro usb port which is covered so there is nothing in the bottom so let me just go ahead and peel this up so peeling off the back cover is very easy because of the slot marked for inserting your fingernail and Pulling it off. So, Samsung has provided a 1200 mAh battery with the device. And here you can see. So, this was the Samsung Galaxy Pocket's design. Although it's fully made of plastic, it doesn't feel really cheap the matte finish at the back enhances your grip on the device the galaxy pocket feels very compact in the hand and light in the pocket as well so we like the design of the device now since the galaxy pocket is a direct competitor of the galaxy y it makes sense to do a bit of a comparison between the two so for starters we will directly start with the display on the device which is a 2.8 inch capacitive display with a resolution of 240 by 320 which is quite similar as what you have on the Galaxy Y but then here on the Galaxy Pocket the screen size is 2.8 whereas it was 3 inch on the Galaxy Y and because of that, <coughs> excuse me, because of that the pixel density has increased on the Galaxy Pocket which has slightly enhanced the vis visibility experience on uh, the Galaxy Pocket. The viewing angles on this device are a bit better than you had on the Galaxy Y. But then the legibility under the sun still remains not that great. It's quite difficult to read small fonts and you cannot set the phone on auto brightness because that wouldn't really help the cause. Uh, you will have to always have your screen on full brightness in order to be able to read text on the screen. Now speaking of the internal uh, features of the device it has an inbuilt memory of 3 GB and it is obviously expandable up to 32 GB but in the case of the Galaxy Y it was only 180 MB internal memory with 290 MB of usable RAM now coming to the processor on the device it has an 832 MHz ARM 11 processor compared to the ARM 6 you had on the Galaxy Y so there is not much of a performance difference with Android gingerbread that is 2.3.6 along with the customized skin top of touch base 
the phone does function really smoothly there is not at all any lag when you are switching through apps or uh, you are using the browser so overall we like the feel of it considering that this is a budget smartphone besides just so pinch to zoom works just fine on the device speaking of the 2 megapixel camera on the device it, it's quite its performance is quite similar to what you had on the Samsung Galaxy Y the images taken with this camera are not very detailed and the color rendition is not that great and they appear a little dull and can be only used on social networks now talking about the multimedia performance on the device that is the speakers which are a little bit more audible and we like uh, what we heard on the speakers so it's somewhat better than what you had on the Galaxy Y and we liked the radio on the device which was able to automatically configure the stations within 15 seconds so that is another good thing with the device now Coming to the connectivity options, it has a host of options for a low budget smartphone. As you can see here, it has got Wi Fi, Bluetooth 3.0, GPS, and USB 2.0. And uh, it's important that you have uh, all these op connectivity options in your drop down menu so it helps you quickly ex access and toggle between your connectivity options. So overall the device is smooth and considering that this is a low budget feature smartphone it's great with the features, set of features that it has and when compared to the Samsung Galaxy Y it certainly has proved to be better. We loved the design of this device, it feels great in the hand and it's currently priced at rupees 8000 in the market with so it should be available at a best price of around 7.5 that is 7500 rupees so this was the server with only gizmos thank you so much